Hello everybody, this is David with another Verilog video. In this video I'm going to create a simple ALU, arithmetic and logic unit, in Verilog and simulate it. So here's the basic uh, microprocessor processor block diagram. Here you see the ALU right here and you get you get two operands. You get operand A and operand B and then the res whatever the control unit will send this signal here, which is an opcode. And depending on your architecture, your instruction set, your, your ALU can perform a number of different operations. So you can do all the arithmetic operations, logic operations, compare operations, shift operations, whatever you need it to do for your instruction set. And then the ALU result comes out here on Y. Um, usually operands A and B, they can come from a register file, which the control unit will also send a signal to select which registers for operand A and B, and then the result of Y will come out and either go back in the register. It's also available out on the main data bus so that it can go into memory as well. Um, they didn't have it on here, but also in ALU, I put this register in here as a flag register or condition code register. So depending on the result of the operation between A and B, you get different condition codes, whether you want to check for a zero value, um, an, an overflow, a carry, or a negative value, that those flags will be set in here. So here's the basic ALU symbol. Like I say, you just have operands A and B coming in, the operations code, the ALU result coming out, and the flag register or condition codes. Now let me take you over to the code. Okay, here I am in Vivado. Here's the ALU I created. I actually created this for a book that I published and put on Amazon, but with all the videos and stuff nowadays, nobody's buying these books. It's okay, I still have it on there, but I'm gonna cover it on video here. Um, so here's the ALU module, I call it ALU, and I, I'm going to parameterize it to 32 bits. So, you know, if you have a 32-bit processor or 64-bit processor, you can change the bit width right here to whatever you like to fit your processor. Um, so the input we have, I'm just going to use a 2-bit opcode so I can have four different operations. An input of operand A, operand B, the output, which is the ALU result, and I'm going to have three flags. I'm just going to create three condition codes and um, concatenate them together into a flags register. So here I create the wires for um, the negative flag, the zero flag, and a carry flag. I'm going to create a wire um, with bit width so I can actually have a 30 second bit here for the carry check. So in an add operation, that gets pushed over to a one and we check for a carry. Um, so here's the logic for the ALU result is based on the opcode. So I got 0, 0 is an add operation, 0, 1 is subtract, 1, 0 is and, and 1, 1 is logical or. And down here is how I take care of all the, the flags. So the carry check is operand A plus operand B. And if, like I said, if we get a carry from an add, it'll, it'll carry over into this, um, the, uh, the higher bit here. Um, the end flag is negative, so it's the ALU result, the uh, 31st bit in this case. The carry is the 32nd bit, this is the 31st bit. So in a negative, if you have um, signed operations, a 1 will be in your most significant bit for a negative number. And that's what we're going to check for here. Now to check for the Z, the 0 flag, we're going to do a, um, a, a reduction NOR operation on the ALU result and if we have a carry we're going to check the carry flag we're going to check that 30 second bit and carry check for the carry flag and then I'm going to concatenate the flags into one three bit register or yeah right here three bit uh, wire right here so here's the simulation I created I'm going to just go ahead and set the parameter to 8 so I can work with 8 bit values down here instead of 32 bits um, Here's the uh, register to drive the opcode, register to drive operand A and B, wire to capture the output of the ALU result, and a wire to capture the flags. Here I instantiate the device under test, which is the ALU. I am putting this parameter W in for the in place of the 32-bit W in the file here, in that module. And then here's the script for uh, the simulation for testing it. 
I'm going to set both values to 32 and then I'm going to add them together and then I'm going to subtract them um, after two ticks change the opcode and then check for a, a zero flag because 32 minus 32 should give us zero then I'm going to set the bits 1010 all the way across and 0101 I'm going to and them all together and we should get a zero flag because this and this bitwise should give us a, a zero then I'm going to or them together and I'm going to check for the end flag because um, that high or that most significant bit will be set here I'm going to take and add uh, 255 and add one to it which should give us an uh, carry check for the carry flag and the add operation and then I'm going to set them both to zero and add them check for the zero flag um, and then I'm going to set a smaller number and subtract a larger number and then also check for that um, negative flag uh, right here and then after two ticks we'll finish I already ran the simulation here it is here's the opcode up top in yellow I got it set in binary the uh, operand A operand B the ALU result and the flags so we go through the the simulation um, first I'm setting the opcode to add I'm adding 32 and 32 I get 64 and no flags keeping those the same I'm going to subtract 32 from 32 uh, the result is zero and then that middle flag which is zero flag is set then I'm going to go here to an and operation with those 1010 and 0101 um, so the and operation results in a zero so the zero flag is still set now when I change that to or and I or them all together I'm going to get a register of all ones and um, I change this to signed ALU result so it's giving me a negative one but that um, negative uh, bit is set because the most significant bit in the ALU result is set and then here I'm going to add 255 add the one I get a zero value but I get the carry out because that the 30 set or the the next bit is a uh, is a one now because the math carry the addition carried over I get the carry and I get the zero because the result is zero and then I'm adding zero and zero I get zero I get the zero flag and then I'm subtracting a, a lower value number or a higher value number from a lower value number and I get negative 128 and in this case the negative flag is set and also the carry flag is set uh, due to this operation so there you can see it's all working I'll take you back to the ALU so you can check out the code thanks for watching